and Muslims, I'm saying to you and I, Khalid, he needs to reform his behavior. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to us, he says, Ya yuhaladina amanu, lima takuluna ma la tafalun. Oh, you who believe, why is it that you say, why is it you say with your mouths, why do you profess, why do you claim that which you don't really do? Kabura, maqtan, and Allah. That you say what you don't actually do. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is warning you and me about hypocrisy about having dual behavior. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yes, he came to teach us worship. Yes, he came to teach us about Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. But he also came to teach us to do what? To follow him. Not just to say, I love Allah. So a man is making dhikr, dhikr, subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And the man, he's saying this all day long. And he's making raka'ah all day long. And he's praying all day long and all night long. And he's traveling this place and that place for knowledge and everything. So the Prophet them said, such a man, he has traveled far and wide. And his clothing is dirty. And his hair is all on top of his head. And then he stops and he says, Ya Rab, Ya Rab. Wa mat'amahu haram. Wa malbasahu haram. وَمَشْرَبَهُ حَرَامٌ وَغُضِيَ بِالْحَرَامٌ His food is unlawful. His drink is unlawful. His clothing is unlawful. And what he nourishes himself and his family from and what he is developing himself and sustaining himself from is what? Haram. So the Prophet Sallallahu said, how can he expect to be answered? So, O oh Muslims, if our speech is haram and our actions are haram and our behavior is haram, if we are acting unlike Muslims and we are behaving unlike Muslims and we are speaking unlike Muslims and we are not living as Muslims and we have this double standard that we pray and we say in the mosque but when we live outside in the society we are living as someone else it means that we will be the first people punished on the day of judgment and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he promises us punishment and humiliation in this life and also punishment and humiliation in the hereafter. What must we do to remove this from ourselves? We must reform our behavior. Khalid needs to reform his behavior. 